ಇಲ್ಲ ಹೋಗಿದ್ದೀವಿ ನೀವು ಇಲ್ಲ ಹೋಗಿದ್ದೀವಿ ನೀವು ಹಾವ ಅಯ್ಯ I be sure I was connecting my laptop. Okay, very well. Okay. Hello, how are you? Everything's good. Nice. Welcome to the English class. We're about to start. We're going to wait just for two or three minutes to wait for the other people to come into the class. Okay.
Okay, everybody, we're going to start our class. Welcome to the English class. Uh, that is almost the end of this uh, module. Uh, that is the intermediate. Um, but first of all, um, well, we're just a few by now, but uh, how is going on with the platform? ¿Alguien le falta algo de la plataforma o todos terminaron ya? I finished. You finished already, Roxanne. Good. Yes. You have the mask? I finished too. Good night, teacher. Good. Hey, good evening. How are you? Fine, fine. And you? Very well. Ready for rock and roll. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so... Um, si alguien falta de la plataforma, es importante que vayamos terminando mañana en el día se cierra la plataforma al, a medianoche pero igual ¿verdad? no hay que esperar hasta el último momento igual si tienen preguntas o dudas o con el examen en alguna situación pues me escriben y con gusto yo les puedo ayudar okay. teacher uh, I have a question go ahead um, nosotros um, mi cuñado se inscribió uh -huh. y él va a tener la charla informativa ahora a nosotros ya no nos la darían ¿verdad? Yo creería de que no, porque ya conocen cómo va el proceso. Um, sería solo de, de esperar que les llegue ahí la invitación para la clase, que creo que es lo que están haciendo entre hoy y mañana, quizá por ahí por el sábado. La van a estar recibiendo para que sepan ahí, eh, pues tengan los links y todo lo que les mandan casi siempre, ¿verdad? Eh, se está trabajando mucho para iniciar lunes. Eh, sin embargo, pues no, no, no les podría decir cómo va el trabajo administrativo, pero lo que se espera es eso, es iniciar lunes. Y si fuera así el caso, pues ustedes estarían recibiendo, yo pensaría que entre viernes y sábado, toda la información para poder iniciar lunes. Muchas gracias, Sicho. Esa era sure. mi otra pregunta, porque solo el, el correo me, de confirmación de los, de los documentos me llega. Ah, no le ha llegado tampoco eso. No, eso sí, amigo. Ok, perfecto. Pero Entonces, solo la confirmación. Ok, solo la espera. ¿Alguien más tiene otra pregunta? Yo no, teacher. Ajá. Yo no he recibido la confirmación, ya las enviaron. Yo pensaría que sí, pero no sé si a todos les cayó, no sé. Oh. Lo que puede hacer es consultar. Puede eh, preguntar en el chat o preguntar directamente, disculpe, yo envío la documentación, quisiera saber, pues sí. Todo está bien. Y ahí pues le van a decir si, sí, si, sí, si, sí, no, okay. ni blanco, ni negro. Pero yo pensé okay. que... Hi, teacher. Hello. De igual manera, yo envié toda la documentación en su momento y no he recibido ningún correo de confirmación. Ok, sería, si quieren, si quieren estar seguros, nada más de preguntar, ¿verdad? Hola, ¿qué tal? Quisiera okay. confirmar, nada más. Pero si a la mayoría no les llegó, pues pensaría yo que simplemente están también esperando ahí uh, la... Lo de la plataforma mañana a medianoche y luego pues van a empezar el viernes a cotejar todos los grupos, a, a armarlos y ya entre viernes y sábado estar mandando los links para reiniciar las clases. Ok. Good. Any other question before we start over? Ok. So we have a homework for today's stack. Question is, did you do the homework? <laughs> if you didn't do the homework, you can do it live. You can just talk. That is not a problem. Uh, so the second question is, who is going to be the first one? Teacher, I want to, to be the first. Very good. So this is what we're going to do. Mauricio is going to read the paragraph. And two students are going to ask, one question okay so uh, when he's reading please pay attention so you can ask a question you don't know who is going to be asking a question so i can say uh, roxana and josue or any other names two people only so we need to pay attention so we can ask a proper question to the person Okay, Mauricio, thank you for being the volunteer. Uh, please start all over. Yes, teacher. Thanks. Uh, I wrote about my favorite sport. Okay. Uh, when I was a kid. Okay. When I was a kid, I I liked it. all sports. Uh, I played 
basketball, soccer, and many more. Many more. I don't know if I wrote good. Okay, go ahead. And many more sports, but I, I, I had always been bad at all. Well, not bad, very bad, but I needed a lot of practice. And I needed a lot of practice to be more or not. Excuse me, excuse me. Hey, I had always been bad at all. Well, not bad, very bad, but I needed a lot of practice to be more or less. Okay. And but the sport that I like it to practice is the skateboarding. I love I love practice the skateboarding. I I I am I am not very good, but I love it, and I still I still practice it, but my but. I needed more, more practice. Uh, that is it. <laughs> okay, very that good. Thank all. you. <laughs> Thank you, Maurice. Very interesting about sports. Um, let's see. Uh, the person that is going to ask the question is going to be uh, Luis. First question for Luis. Uh, uh, sorry, teacher, but yesterday I don't. Uh, 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 what do you say? No student in class. You didn't connect to the class. You didn't. Uh, yes, I didn't connect the class. Okay. Uh, explain me, please. Uh, what is the homework? Uh, yeah. Uh, the homework it was for you to write a paragraph about anything, whatever you want. Um, most likely using simply past and present perfect, but it's about anything. And today you are going to read the paragraph to the class and other two students are going to ask a question so for example in this case you were listening to Mauricio reading his paragraph and mm -hmm. you probably you are going to ask a question about what he said okay. uh, but, uh, uh, if you didn't write the paragraph you can do it like that I mean you no tiene que haberlo escrito lo puede puede hablar de algo ¿verdad? y nosotros la escuchamos con mucho gusto. Okay. But, but first, the question for, from Mauricio o... For Mauricio about what he read, but I don't know if you listened what he said. Okay, okay for me, yes. Okay. When I was a young, I studied in, in two... I studied in, in all, all day. Okay. In the morning, I study in, in uh, one college. In the afternoon, I study in another college. And then I play uh, soccer and I practice karate. Okay. And then when I start in the university, I play soccer in the uh, second division with the National University. And uh, I was a start a job uh, when I was a young. I was uh, 18 years when I uh, started my first job. Okay. Very oh. good. Thank you. You really had two, two schools? You went to two colleges? Yes. I... Uh, in, uh, because uh, uh, what do you say? Uh, I for me uh, is it a very important and I like it uh, study. In when uh, I was in 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 sixth grade, I studied in the morning in the college, but in the afternoon I um, accompaniaba. Ah, you were with another person. A uh, person to my old sister uh, to classes, and she uh, uh, she studied in seventh grade. And the teacher 
uh, don't say anything and I receive the, the class for all the year. Okay, my, that's interesting. <laughs> so I study in the morning, uh, sixth uh, grade, in the afternoon, seventh grade. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Eh? <laughs> Very interesting. That is something that is not common at all. <laughs> no, it's not common. Uh, my son, uh, Loves for uh, this uh, 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 aspect in my life. Uh, they said uh, I was a crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe the most common is that people they don't want to study or go to school, right? But you did the opposite. <laughs> but that's good. the opposite. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it was very good. Okay, la 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 dinámica es como sigue. Alguien habla del lo que va a hablar y pues los demás, dos personas van a hacerle preguntas de lo okay. que acaba de decir. Entonces a Luis le vamos a hacer preguntas ahorita y luego le vamos a hacer a Mauricio, si es que recuerdan más o menos lo que dijo por ahí. ¿verdad? So, Josué, could you please ask, ask the first question to Luis? Ok. Um, Luis, what's your, your favorite sport when you was young? Uh, when I was young, my favorite sport uh, was karate. Okay. <laughs> Discipline, good. So the next question is going to be made by Andrea. Um, good evening. And good evening. what is your favorite subject when uh, you was young? Sorry, subject. Ah, uh, sí, materia. Ah, and when, uh, when I was a young, my favorite uh, uh, subject are mathematics. Math. Ah, so you are very good in numbers. That's nice. Mathematic. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Luis. And now, um, let's see, um, Roxana, uh, do you remember about Mauritius? Maybe you can ask a question. Uh, the second the first student, one. the first one. Yeah. Oh, the question for him is, um, have uh, Mauricio, mm -hmm. Mauricio, have you ever have you ever participated in a competition in a competition about skateboard boarding? I remember you practice this kind of sport. Yeah, good. Yes, I I participate, but uh, I am not good in skateboard. Uh, I. Uh, how do you say means to be? I um, enrolled. Enrolled, yeah. I enrolled the prince, principal, ah, principal, okay. beginner. but ah, beginner. See, sorry, ah, I forget it. Another oh, word. But uh, the the skater are not uh, were not. We're not beginner. Ah, really? uh, they they were professional skate and I lose. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the good thing is that you uh, enrolled. I mean, it's not that easy. Maybe it's not the same just to do it on the street just for a while. That practice some a lot and then go and enroll. I mean, that is that is something. That's good. <laughs> yes, thanks, teacher. Okay. The second question for Mauricio is going to be made by uh, Patricia. Okay. Um, Mauricio, how old were you when you had your first skate? Mm, 14 years old. Okay. Oh, you were I very young. Fifteen. Yes, very young. I, I still practice. 
in Mayan. That is good. <laughs> nice. <Thank> Patricia. <laughs> okay, thank, thank you very you. much. Okay, now who's going to be the next to participate with the paragraph? I'm going to be the next. Okay, go ahead, please. Uh, I prepare a paragraph that explains how I met my dog. Okay, go ahead. So around three three years ago, I met my dog. Today he's a very happy dog, but his life used to be very different. Two years ago, when he was just a puppy, he was living on the streets of San Salvador. He had wounds all over his body and he was drinking water from the ground. People scared him and he didn't like it when a dog catcher picked him up. But that was when his life turned around. He spent a month at bed getting better and then he went to my home. Now he's probably the most happy dog in my neighborhood. Very good, nice story, I really liked it. So Thanks. let's see, who's gonna ask? Uh, Roger, could you please ask the first question? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um, the first question to Josué. Okay. Uh, No se me ocurre ninguna, dicha. <laughs> well, I will, I'm going to help you with that one. So, for example, uh, Josué, um, what what kind of dog do you have right now? I mean, is uh, is a small one? It's a large one? Uh, is uh, what color is it? Could you please describe your dog? Is is a little bit small. He 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 has he is white um, I don't know but he had a lot of he, he is a mix of razas. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's a mixture, that's good. Yeah. So it's, it's very beautiful and happy. Nice. That's the most important. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The uh, second question. Um, Hi, where are you? Antonio, could you please ask the second question? Yes, of course. And do you like all kind of of animals or just? Um, no, I, I I like all kind of animals and. If I have enough money, I uh, I want to help animals and help animals who live in the streets. So I think that is very important. So yeah, I, I like uh, I like a lot the animals. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. Who is going to be the next one? That's the question. Who want to be the next one? Okay, go ahead, please, Patricia. Okay, I wrote about my experience with the miracle of life. Okay. Okay. Um, six months ago, I was resting at home, and suddenly I started to feel a little pain in my belly. At the very beginning, I thought it was a minor pain, so I didn't pay attention to it. But a few minutes later, a stronger pain, pain surprised me, and I realized that my little baby boy was about to be born. At that moment, I started to feel very nervous and scared because it was the time to go to the hospital and also we were in the middle of the quarantine. So my husband took me to the Primero de Mayo hospital and it was a really bad experience for me. 
maybe the worst I have ever had. Uh, that is because I was in a lot of pain and besides that, the nurses and the doctor treat me in, a, in an indifferent and very rude way. I have never felt so hopeless in my life. After all that, the doctor only told me that need, I needed to go to another hospital because there weren't enough beds. I only wanted to cry. So I closed my eyes and prayed. When I arrived to Sacamil Polyclinic, everything changed. The nurses and doctors were very kind to me and they helped me a lot. I thought my prayer had been heard. And at, that, and at the end of everything, I could finally meet, meet my little baby boy. That's all. Very good. Thank you very much for sharing with us. Okay, um, let's see. Juan, could you please ask your question? Um, okay. Uh, the baby uh, was born, is the baby born uh, good or do you have an, any problems? I didn't have any problem with all the uh, the labor. Uh, he he is uh, a really uh, safety. How how could I say sano? Healthy. Uh, healthy. Ah, it's a it's a really healthy boy. Good, perfect. And the uh, second question is going to be made by Andrea. Um, which is the second hospital? Uh, the second hospital uh, is the Sacamil Polyclinic. It's, uh, it's a, a, a hospital of the East. Okay. Yes. Very good. Yeah, I believe that that is probably the most beautiful experience that you have, right? Too. I mean, I, yeah. I can't imagine because, I'm, of course, I'm a man. <laughs> I can imagine how scared are you uh, about before, I mean, before when you are going to go through that one because you know that you have to go and it's going to be pain, it's going to be lots of things and it's kind of dangerous. But I believe that at the end when you have your baby, that is totally different, right? yeah. that is amazing. Yes, totally. Okay, thank amazing. you for sharing, Patricia. Okay, who wants to be the next one? Hello. I want to be the next one. Okay, please go ahead, Andrea. Okay. Me uh, escucho ahorita. Yes. Okay. And this story is um, of Mr. Armando and Betty the Ugly. Betty was a secretary in Armando's company, and Armando was the boss. They used to be a, a good team until they made a mistake. They formed a couple and they should not be a couple because he had a girlfriend. Armando broke uh, Betty's heart. Now she is the boss of the company. Okay, I didn't know that one. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> So uh, the first question is going to be made by um, Mauricio. Teacher, sorry, I I don't hear because my dogs are how do you say ladran? Oh, okay, they're barking. I'm sorry about that one. <laughs> sorry, teacher. Okay, that's that's fine. Okay, the first question, uh, Felix. Okay. Um, what uh, what is what is hobby favorite? Okay. What's your favorite hobby, Andrea? 
Andrea Olvetia. <laughs> sí, sí. Um, uh, I like watch TV and I I like um, uh, stay with my dogs. Very good. Thank you. The second question is going to be made by Carlos. Hello. <laughs> Maybe you're not there. Uh, Josemith, can you please ask any question about what Andrea said? Uh, good, evening. good evening. I just want to ask you, ask her um, for how how long they they has. I mean, they got the relationship. I mean the. The new boss now. I don't oh. know if you understand. I don't know how how can I say the question. You can say that in many ways, but maybe the question is how <laughs> long did they last in the relationship? Something like that. Yes, yes, okay. that's what I want to ask. Thank you. Uh, it's a pleasure, Andrea. Uh, I think uh, a few months. Okay, a few months. Very good. Thank you. Who wants to be the next? To read the paragraph. No one. Me? Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. okay. I hate writing, but okay. I try to, to write <laughs> about my Valentine Day, the last Sunday. Okay. Um, I celebrate Valentine's Day with my mother's best friend. Her name is, is Alma. She invited us to her house. We left at home at 7 p.m. and we arrived to Alma's house at 7.15. And she had set the table in, in her house and we ate a delicious dinner uh, that Alma had prepared. And we drank soda, soda. And after that, we talked to her family, uh, Alma's family, and listened to music. And then, uh, we, my mother and I, oh, everybody ate a cake. And, but when we come back to our, uh, our house, or my house, at, um, we come back to my house at 9 p.m. And my mother and I ate a lot. And so my mother fell sick and I couldn't sleep. Um, but regardless, we enjoy spending time with Alma and her family. <laughs> I don't know if, it's, if everybody understands my, my... Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was very <laughs> <My> good. paragraph. <laughs> Okay. It's let's... difficult for me to write. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you don't like it. That's it. Okay. Okay. Uh, question. Olympia. Oli, please. I have no question. No question. <laughs> <laughs> no. Very nice, Roxy. No, but you need to ask okay. a question. That is that is the game. <laughs> no, I have no question. This okay. is... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Um, I have a question for Roxana. Go ahead. Okay. Ba Barbara uh, Roger. Póngase la pila. Okay, Roxana. Uh, <laughs> what is your favorite music? Music. My favorite music. What? When I uh, when I listen to music, uh, when I 
when I when I to relax, I like listen to classical music. But when I when I dance, I like reggaeton music, salsa, uh, merengue <laughs> music. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, eh, ¿Cómo se diría? Música de los 80. 80s music. Like, 80s music. I like it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I think I love all music, all kind of music. All kind okay. of music. Depends. <laughs> It's depend on my, the situation. <laughs> if I re, if I can if I want to relax, I listen classical music. If I if I want to to dance, I listen reggaeton, salsa, and <laughs> it's depend. <laughs> it's depend on the situation. <laughs> okay. Very good. Thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, now uh, who wants to be the next to read the paragraph? Okay, I will be the next one, teacher. Very good, go ahead, please, Antonio. Okay, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, today I'm gonna speak about technology and how technology has become very important in human life. It all started with Thomas Alba Edison when he discovered electric light. You know that without electric light, we don't have internet. And internet is very important for technology. Actually, internet was created for military purposes. Uh, United States, Russia, and China have been fighting for achieve the best advances in technology since many years ago. All these countries have been developing technology that we don't know. But the question is, uh, how technology has become very important in our life? Number one, um, scientific have improved uh, treatment for health. Uh, number two, uh, internet and technology make life easier. For example, now we are receiving English classes. We have been studying English from our houses, but there are some problems. For example, that uh, many countries have uh, nuclear weapons and there is a very big problem. That is all. Thank you very much. So, very interesting, that one. Um, first question, um, let's see. Luis. Okay. Antonio, what do you think about that in technology, technological advance of El Salvador? Mm, good question. Okay. Good question. Uh, I don't know how uh, much about uh, advances in technology in El Salvador, but I believe that um, now we are uh, interconnecting with other country and that's helped us to develop uh, technology. Okay, perfect. Thank okay. you very much. Okay, the next question is uh, going to be made by Juan. Uh, what military advance have El Salvador? Well, in, in the military advances in technology, uh, I think uh, don't have, but just a few years ago, I rem remember that Funes bought some airplane from Chile and called Aero uh, Dragonfly, something like that. And I think that's only that. Ah, and yes, they, the government have bought uh, many uh, instruments for military people. Yes. <laughs> 
Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Very interesting. Um, who wants to be the next one? There are just a few that are missing. Uh -huh. I, I going to be the next one. Very good. Go ahead, please. Uh, when I was young, I didn't practice any sport because I didn't, I didn't not have free time. Uh, but when I was uh, 18 years old, I played basketball. And now I have a lot of free time because I'm in holidays uh, at the university. Uh, I used to practice Taekwondo and swimming. Before to start the, at the university, I had a problem because I didn't know what I wanted to study. I liked economics, but my family wanted I study for to be an accountant. To the end, I decide to study economics. Okay, very good, That's thank all. you. Okay. The first question is going to be made by, let's see, Felix. We can hear you by now because you're in mute. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bacani. I guess it's not it's not a good time. Okay, um, let's see. Um, Patricia, please ask a question. Okay, um, Juan, what did you, uh, why did you start playing basketball? Can you repeat? Okay, why did you start to play basketball? Uh, I. I because my friend played uh, basketball and they they told me if I wanted to practice too. Okay. Very good. And the uh, other question is going to be made by Justin. Okay, one. Which is your favorite uh, subject in the university? Uh, my favorite subject is, uh, how do you say, macroeconomia. Macroeconomics. Uh, it's macroeconomics, but I don't understand uh, so much. <laughs> okay, very good. Nice, thank you. Who wants to be the next one? Still missing some people. Anybody? Okay, I'm going to choose them. Uh, let's see. Um, who's missing? Oli. No, no vine. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. But you can tell us anything that you want. Okay. My experience is the office and the staff you work in February as a TIC, executive TIC. At FIRA, I thought we are both not in the company for short time, but little by little, I start to like it. I have no goals but have 12 people in the chair. As the week uh, will not have too much stress, but have more to be directly in salad. Um, como se dice, genera más stress. Uh, it causes more stress. Yes, um, everything, um, Ando estresada siempre. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. But you need mojitos. That's it. <laughs> it's a good idea for her. Yeah. Yes, I, I change my face. It's mojitos. <laughs> well, we need to celebrate also that we finished the model. So this and coming oh. weekend, it might be a good idea. <laughs> I know. I I money is. I my money is at. Uh, I end the month. Ah, okay, <laughs> very good. <laughs> no money is in time. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Ali. Roger me va. Roger me va a invitar, dice. <laughs> Roger le va a preguntar, dice Ali. No, Roger me va a invitar, verdad, Roger. Uh, mojitos. No. <laughs> <laughs> no le dice. Ya no te voy a, ya no te voy a, a ayudar, oíste. Está bueno, hombre, le invito. Okay, ah, okay. ya ves. <laughs> <laughs> ok, um, question. Uh, Josué, could you please ask a question to Oli? Ok, um, what do you like to do in your free time? Ah, okay. uh, no free time. Ah, uh, do I full stress, full work? Um, not I. Um, weekend. Um, a uh, different. Um, my work is free time. Okay, that's I, not good. I know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool. I, I have a question for Olympia. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> no, Roger. <laughs> um, how long have you been working at Movistar? Um, ya se me olvidó lo que me preguntaste. Uh, yes, I'm more, yes, yes. I work at Movistar. Um, is um, responsibility is uh, meeting uh, um, sales, meeting its clients. Um, very, very. Como te digo, no time free. No time free. Um, says sick meaning um, today. Okay. okay. But uh, he was asking how long have you been working for a movie star? How long? How much time? Ah, Guam, um, llevo, uh, one year. One year. Good. Yeah, one year. Okay, thank you very much, Oli. A punto de renunciar ya. Ahora sí va a tener para los mojitos. I know, I love it, uh, my work. Okay. I love it. Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, the next one is going to be, uh, let's see, ¿quién no ha pasado? Josemet. Roger, falta. No, ya pasé. No, no, dije, no ha dicho nada, no sea mentiroso. Ok. Um, actually, I didn't, I didn't do my, my homework writing. I just want to, to try to say it. Okay, and I hope to do the, the best grammar of course, that I, I know. <laughs> ok, my experience. Eh, I like with my husband and my, my sons, my kids, to go out every time that I can. Um, we'll, uh, we like to do some adventure, like going to the mountain, going to the beach, or do some, going to any place, but be lonely. So we don't like to stay too much crowded people and that's why uh, we both uh, like land in the La Palma. Mm -hmm. And now we, we started to, to build a little, uh, I don't know, cabanita. A cabane. A cabane to stay uh, every weekend over there and I stay with my kids. 
So we're doing like fire at night and make our marshmallows and sun, uh, sing and dance with my kids. So that's funny because uh, every day um, there are no electrician. Okay. So we're camping right now because the house is, is not done yet. So we're camping and that's the enjoy with my kids. So we ride the bicycle, we do many games with them. And I think for now that's it, but I hope the campaign is going to be finished and you guys can be with with me <laughs> okay, <that laughs> after, <laughs> after the pande pandemic is Pandemic gone. Comes, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that will be good. Okay, that's Thank it. You. <laughs> I don't know my grammar because it's just thinking in my mind and just try to translate it. Oh, it was very good. Don't worry. It was very, very nice. <laughs> and I don't know if everybody understands. Thank I just you so know. much. Yes, <laughs> I understand a little. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, questions. Let's see. Um, Carlos, do you have questions for Jasmine? Yeah, I guess Carlos has some issues there. Okay, Antonio, do you have questions? Um, yes, um, you submit all your adventure sounds great, but tell me what is the best adventure that you have had with your family? Actually, it's one day we went to the Pital and it was funny because we didn't have too much coat and we didn't have the good blankets so we didn't sleep all day all night so we stay around the fire all night and we couldn't sleep and that's the funny thing and i think the best experience because the whole night we um say the whole stories uh with my friends and in that time i just had uh, one kid so that's that's what was funny because he didn't he didn't has call just just us <laughs> so that that's a good experience because we say a lot of a lot of things um in the fire i okay. mean around the fire so that's nice uh be with with friends and give more memories and give some some things to save to heart and the memory too, and the mind too. Okay, very good. Nice. Nice. Okay, the other question is going to be made by, let me see, um, Patricia. Hey, um, just me, um, have you ever visited another country with your family? Yes. Last year before the pandem pandemic, pandem pandemic, we went to we went to Guatemala with my kids. So this the first travel to them. And before I went to the USA, like five or six years ago. That's the thing. But with my family, we did. I mean, not last year. Before we we went to. 2018. Okay. So before the pandemic. <laughs> now we, we we stay safe and keep keep and safe at home. <laughs> yeah, it's much better. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, who else is missing? Carlos, are you here with us? All right. The other person that is missing, let me think. Uh, Felix. I guess they're together in Metro Center or something like that. Um, Roger. Roger. I remember that he did it. Uh, ya, ya pasó, ¿verdad? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> she wants you to repeat. 
Uh, who else is missing? Creo que solo ellos dos me faltan. Andrea, you, you did it already, right? Yeah. Sí, sí. Very nice. Yeah, I guess that's it. Okay, so in this uh, situation, I guess it was a very good thing because you, for first of all, you were planning on what to write, right? What, what is the idea? What am I going to do? And things like that. Then you need to also uh, comment and read the paragraph. I know that sometimes you get nervous, but that is normal. And then you need to pay attention so you can ask a question. And also the other person has to understand the question so you are able to answer. Uh, it's a very good practice. Tomorrow, tomorrow we are going to check the uh, section five of the of the uh, platform. Just review, you know, as as usual. Then we're going to finish some topics. We're going to finish also the present perfect and past simple past, uh, and we're going to do a little practice that is going to be like in conversations. So tomorrow is going to be speaking in a different way. Today it was like reading and some other people were asking questions. Tomorrow we're going to work in pairs. So we're going to uh, have a little conversation in front of the class. Uh, it's going to be very interesting. And uh, um, by now, uh, any questions about the platform? Everybody finishes the platform? Is anybody missing something in the platform by now? You're done, right? Everybody, no one is missing. Everybody has a hundred. Good. And you have your certificate. Okay. So if we don't have any question, uh, we're going to finish. Um, remember, in case, if you haven't finished the platform, you have until tomorrow at midnight. Um, administration here at the, um, at the academy, they are working very hard so we can start uh, this incoming Monday. So we hope everything goes well and we can start on Monday so we don't have a week in, in between. That is, sometimes it's not good because we, we need to continue practicing, right? Um, if you have questions, of course, you can chat with me and um, no homework for tomorrow, but we're going, please come so we can practice. That is the most important part, okay? Anything, any question, anything else before we finish? No. <laughs> okay. En okay. Europe, um, en Europe, uh, continue the teacher. Eric. Uh, I mean, the question is, uh, everybody is going to be together in the group? No, you, you. I, mean, I continue in Europe, uh, the intermediate two. To be honest with you, I don't know. Um, because there are many teachers and we are rotating all the time. Uh, I don't know yet. Maybe they are going to tell me this weekend. Uh, if everything goes well and everybody finishes tomorrow, Friday they are going to be working very hard so they can put together all the groups. And then Friday or Saturday they will be sending uh, all the information, the links, everything that you need for. So probably I'm going to know uh, which class I'm going to be with. Uh, this Saturday, let's say, on Saturday. I know. Ah. Bueno, uh, vamos a tener que hacer una petición especial para continuar. Sí, con gusto, ya saben que estoy para ayudarle en lo que esté. Sí, me parece. Vamos a hablar con, con, con las autoridades pertinentes. Okay, no, claro, ok. Después estamos aquí a la orden. Igual, si no se pudiera, pues también pueden chatear conmigo y pedirme algún consejo, alguna cosa. La estamos para ayudar. No, pero vamos a solicitar. Eh, si hicimos una vez que Roger estábamos eh, y si solicitamos que continuara para seguir el hilo. Ok, uh, gracias. Hemos aprendido muchísimo en español más rápido. En inglés cuesta mucho. Eh, eh, muy buen maestro, definitivamente. Hemos tenido uno de los mejores. <risa> Thank you. Hemos he aprendido mucho. Lástima que no puedo practicar porque si hablo más, a, las reuniones son más en español. Pero eh, vamos a estar practicando. Pero sí, eh, super nice la clase. De verdad, muchas gracias. Eh, eh, yo creo que en lo personal he aprendido muchísimo. 
y me gusta. Nice. Lo tomé así como reto personal terminar este año eh, full inglés, aunque mi trabajo no es necesario, pero es un reto personal aquí en la casa, porque ellos dicen que son bilingües, mis hijos, mi esposo, así que vamos a ver quién sabe más. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for the okay, feedback. Thank you very much. And uh, yes, it's very good for us to continue practicing. There are many ways where you can practice. And well, let's let's see what happens. If it's possible, of course, it will be a pleasure to be with all of you this next level. So, by now, good night. Rest very well, and see you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye, people.